What's up guys, welcome back to Beaver Castles. Today we're going to start off with Ocelix, castle levels of 32. One of the many people who run those competitions. So I've seen his castle before. Let's jump into it. Alright, so we've got some explodifiers over here. Good placement on those. There's another uh, group right here, but I'm not sure what it is. And actually I can pull it with that derp over there I just noticed. So that's good, I can pull both of these groups. That's one thing that you might want to think about changing. Um, you know, as I've said many times, the sustained damage really comes from the traps. So if you can force me to go over this trap and then pull the group, it's a lot better for you. But with that derp standing in the corner, anybody who notices that that has like, you know, a ranged ability um, will be able to pull both groups at once. Which is obviously ideal for them. So they don't have to take more trap damage. There's actually a lot of explodifiers here. It looks like there's two groups of explodifiers. Which is a little annoying. It shouldn't kill me or anything, but uh it is slightly annoying because I won't be able to actually do any damage unless a volley's going. Once this volley is going, I can like kill a couple of them off though. And there we go. I've broken through now. All right, I ended up taking two ticks of damage there. I didn't really need to even take one, but um, it's not a huge deal. Alright, so I'm still able to get an angle right on the top there. I know, I see you were trying to block off your angles, and for the most part they were good. Um, it's just that top side right there, maybe you could make it so that I can't sneak up there with your units. So you guys can see there where I was talking about Stairmasters, if you were close to them they almost explode instantly. And when I was passing by them right on the bottom side here, um, it hit me pretty much instantly, and that's what I'm talking about. Alright, fire mines actually hit me a little bit too much there. It's weird, when I use fire mines, they never seem to hit anybody, but when I go through them, I get hit by them a lot. I don't know. They're like the bane of my existence. Alright, Mr. Boom Boom over here. Now what I'm assuming is your castle goes down this way, because you had this blocked off, so that would make sense. I don't really know where this guy's going to be coming from. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> Mr. Boom Booms do so much damage. Alright, is he stuck back here or something? Well, it looks like your castle might actually go this way, I don't know. I'm not really sure if this Mr. Boom Boom's coming towards me or not. Might have to push through, which is a little annoying. Let's see if we can pull another group that was up there that I noticed. Alright, we could. So we have... Um, again, kind of, you know, maybe you can make it a little harder to pull the secondary group, but it's still fine. Like, your castle's doing a good job against me. I could have played it a little bit more carefully if I wanted to, but... <clears throat> it's kind of odd. You have derps up here, but there's obviously something over here, unless... Actually, I bet you that... I know what this is. Hold on. I bet you this is a dead end. Let's see. Looks like maybe it's not, but I think if... I feel like it could be. Um, I wonder if this Mr. Boom Boom will ever get by this trap. Because this is one of the areas where I'm talking about, where this Mr. Boom Boom will literally never move in this area. So you have to pull the second group um, in order to kill off this Mr. Boom Boom, because he won't get by this trap area. He's too fat. So you could have had that second group, that's technically skippable, but because you can't kill this Mr. Boom Boom, you'll never be able to um, deal with it. Now I'm wondering if this zone up here is just a dead end or what. Because then these Cyclops would indeed be skippable, and it looks like it might be. Yeah, okay. So these Cyclopses were all skippable. I don't know how I feel about that. It's a lot of points that you're wasting. You know, pretty much an entire group worth. Three Cyclopses, 18 points. But the other part was fine. Like, this group, technically skippable, but because that Mr. Boom Boom can never move, it's fine, right? Because you kind of force them to pull that regardless. So I think, I think that's good. Alright, again with this derp right here. This one's a little bit not as big of a deal, actually. 
because I have to go over the spike trap here, and then I, I can pull it and kind of fight in this small little area. So I think that's actually better, because you could possibly force me to go over it three times using this placement. I think I'll be okay, though. Be enough health globes to heal up there. Lots of explodifiers. I'm gonna pull the second group here because it's just easier. Drop a volley there because I knew the spider was gonna pounce on those. Uh, those bear traps and get stuck there, so I dropped the volley kind of preemptively. The Cyclops was there, or no, the, the not Cyclops, the uh, Defendatron was there as well, so that kind of helped me kill off that. Like I said, lots of Explodifiers. They're definitely good units for making a castle annoying. I don't know if they're great for killing people. Mr. Boom Booms are because they do, you know, upwards of a thousand damage per explosion, but Explodifiers aren't really that big of a deal. They do about 500 per explosion, but their uh, their summons are pretty weak. All right, let's see if I can get an angle. It looks like I can probably get one on the bottom side here. Yeah. Oh god. So there was another thing where it kind of just if you're right next to the um. To the Stairmaster, that delay just completely removes itself, and uh, it'll explode on you instantly. Alright, I should probably wait around for this, and then see if I can get in here like that, so I don't take any extra damage. That's interesting. It looks like you were throwing me into a Jimbo. That's gonna hurt. I kind of like this. I'm out of potions now, so I need to be a little bit careful, but... This is a pretty cool room, actually. So I barely saw it in time. But basically, he kind of uses a nice little camera rotation technique because you're going to be coming up here and you're camera is going to be generally rotated like this. And I saw the Jimbo over here and I noticed that I was pulling something down on this side, so I kind of assumed something was happening. Um, so I just kind of kept moving into the room and that will kind of auto-dodge for you. That's the only bad part about it is someone has to stop and actually fight the bad dog that's running at them. Um, you could even probably have better success if it was something like a Bone Puppeteer, because people generally hate Bone Puppeteers more than bad dogs, because I think everybody who's been playing for a while remembers the days of Bone Puppeteer castles with that one specific room and those like over 40 meter, meter pulls back before that was a thing. And you go through an entire castle just to find out that there was one bone puppeteer that was pulled like throughout the level and resurrected the entire castle behind you. I know I remember those days and I secretly hate bone puppeteers because of it. <laughs> bone puppeteers and doctor skulls. So you might have better luck with that to have them stop and attack a Bone Puppeteer instead. Alright, I'm going to have to go back over the spike trap there. So this is another area where it's really good that uh, I go over it. The problem is I think I could have pulled the group. I wasn't really paying attention, but I think that that Defendatron was a little bit out in the open. You might have had him blocked off with a mine, though. I wasn't really paying attention. It's possible for you to do that, though. Yeah, it looks like you did. You had the Defendatron up here. I may have been able to get an angle right here, as you could see. That's the only area where I could think. Um, you might want to turn him, like, if you can. I don't know if he rotates by himself, but if you turn him sideways like this, it might block off that angle. Alright, and then the boss room. So I might be able to make it through this without dying. But I used all four potions. And I think a lot of this... You can see now how a lot of this, if I was if I was forced into um, going over those traps one or two more times, and a lot of those situations where I pulled the derp over the spike spike trap, you could see how that extra thousand 
1,100 damage would put a ton of pressure on me right now, and I like would have you know 600 life left. So I would have still made it through, but it would have put a ton more pressure on me. And obviously, lesser people with you know my armor gives me a bonus of like 150 health per health globe, so that's a huge thing as well. Um, I've actually sacrificed DPS for that piece of armor. I could show it off too, um, in case people don't know. Kind of some of my new gear setup. I can quickly show it because I was talking about it. My armor. Um, 117 health globe, health orb bonus. I think that's actually a pretty important stat now um, to at least have on one of your equip equipments. And my armor only had 43 damage a second that I had before. It was level 19, so you know I was giving up a lot. I, I get a, a extra 169 health, and then the health health orb increase are pretty big deals. So, um, yeah, my new gear is still not finalized. I still have a lot of level 22, 24 stuff. I just haven't really been able to find upgrades. I've I've done quite a bit of farming, but haven't really found much. You know, I've increased my DPS a hundred or so. I don't really remember what my DPS was at level twenty four, seven hundred and something. But anyway, we'll jump into number two in just a second. All right, for number two we have Kazao. Castle level is twenty five. Jump into it here. Alright, so 25 generally means he has like a level 24 castle with upgraded Jimbos. In general, that's what it usually means. Because Jimbos get so good. Actually, he could have Zeke's at level 26 as well. That's a pretty good upgrade as well. Um, I don't know if you can fit it in somewhere, but it would be pretty good. Not a huge deal, because they do still do uh, significant damage at level 22, but... If someone was attacking you at like level 26, he probably wouldn't die to even two shots, three shots from a Zeke at level 22. The Jimbos is definitely the thing you need to be going for if you're getting ready to go to level 26. You don't want to go to level 26 without Jimbos. Um, because they go up to one-shotting people, or close to it, depending on you know the class and how many hit points they have. Alright, so this is good. This is one of those areas where I have to uh, go back over a spike trap multiple times. Or else I may have just gotten hit by the Scorpio and landed on top of the spike trap and taken all, more ticks of damage from that, as well as the archers. So, that's good. Luckily I timed that out well, so I was able to vault across it without taking more damage. Not the easiest thing to do, though. I've tried to get to where I can time that out nicely, and it uh, doesn't seem to work for me. Uh, I rotated the wrong way. Okay. We're gonna pull two groups. We have a Scorpio, we have a Zeke. Defendatron's on both of them. Um, I think I might be super daring and pull three groups. This could be a mistake. But I think I'm okay because I'm a little high level. I saw what everything was though. It all combos pretty nicely together. Um, I didn't see exactly what you had supporting your Mega Mutton. It looked like you had a Spider, which... I mean, the Spider slows you down because of the webs, but that's really all he does. So I'm kind of indifferent about that. The Stab Assassin, again, I'm also indifferent about. There's one area where I've seen a Stab Assassin used very well. Um, I think it was in one of the castles that I did for the um, for the event. I'm not sure if he's a viewer of mine, but basically what happened is I entered a room, and on the one side I had a Cyclops that was off-screen because of, he kind of predicted where my camera was going to be rotated. You know, I'd be like here or something. And I'd walk into a room, and off to the side of my screen, a Cyclops came up, charged me into four stab assassins, and they all started spiraling around and like hitting me. And it actually took me down to almost death. Like I was very close to dying there, which is kind of interesting because that's the first time I've ever been threatened by a stab assassin. They're pretty weak if you're not, you know, stunned or you know, slowed or something. They they have to be, in my opinion, um, to make them work well because they're just not. They're so slow when they're spinning. Sure, they do pretty good damage, but that's about all they have. But it was definitely a unique way of using them. So I think just like comboing them in a random group without having a pre-thought-out plan of using them um, isn't really going to work. They're kind of like vamps in that sense, although vamps do add a certain level of distraction. You know, as they're coming um, up next to you, like they have enough speed where you do indeed need to take care of them. So if you have that. Um, you know, a couple vamps distracting the person, and then, you know, have some some sort of a pull or a knockback that combos into something else. That's one use of them that is okay. 
But I think by themselves they're just too weak to volley and stuff like that. You know, as you could see there, he, he died to my volley that I was just kind of throwing out there. It wasn't really targeted for him, it was targeted for the bigger creatures, but they'll end up just dying anyway because they have such low hit points. And they're not really big enough creatures to use uh, Defendatron on them or anything like that. Alright, we have some vamps here. See, this is where I'm talking about, like, a distraction. I have to deal with these guys, even though there's only two of them. So, I mean, this group is kind of wasted because they're not really going to do all that much for you. But Alright, you have a ton of mines here. Um, I think mines are okay in this circumstance, but you have to be careful using mines in your boss room unless you're using them for a specific purpose, in my opinion. I think, they're, I think your mines would be better off used covering some angles and stuff like that throughout your castle. That's something that I actually still have to do with my castle. Um, I think the only time mines are really good in a boss room is if you're using IMAXs or Stairmasters or something that the, um, the mines are kind of helping you, right? They're blocking off the space that the player can move and dodge out of the way of things. Other than that, I think you should probably <clears throat> look through your castle, see where you can use them to either restrict movement or um, block off angles for creatures that would be otherwise uh, a little bit vulnerable. You know, some elites that you might be able to headshot or something like that. You can use mines to oftentimes block off those angles. So, um, we will jump into number three in just a second. Alright, for number three we have Shark Bait Jack. Cast levels of 23. Let's see what he's got. So, level 23 castles means he has some level 24, but not everything is level 24 yet. So he's still using some of these units. This, obviously, you could see where there's a problem right there. I kind of just walk up to it, and a Zeke that's out in the open is for sure to die, regardless of someone's gear. If you don't have enough gear to be able to one-shot headshot a Zeke, um, or at least like headshot him and follow up with one basic attack and kill it, then you should definitely be farming gear, because it's one of the weakest creatures in the game for an elite. So that has to be at least blocked off somehow. You have to either put him behind the wall, put the Defendatron close enough where it's defending him, or something like that, or else he's going to die almost every time. Okay, so we have this. I'm finally getting better at looking for this. Um, so obviously I can see that there is a springboard trap here. I don't want to hit that, or I could, could actually die in this castle. I do want to see what it does, though, so I'm kind of curious. So, I mean, it's it's a little off. Um, I feel like you need a little something more if you want to use this. Obviously, it's not the biggest deal in the world, but the trap the traps are a pretty big deal in defending your castle. Like, every single tra trap should have a purpose. The purpose for this trap is to throw me here. I get that. And then you have two Zeeks that might both be pulled by me landing onto this trap. Even though the chances of me actually walking over this is really low, um, when I do... I get thrown to this point, and the Zeke has to walk close to me, and then start charging up to fire at me. And I'm by, by the time that I'm up from that, I can just kind of walk to the side, and I'll dodge um, both of the Zeke shots. So that's something that you have to consider. We'll see how this one works. Again, like, this is kind of worthless. It does 300 damage to me, and that's it. And then there's no, no pressure for me to be waiting around here or anything like that. Um, spike tra Springboard traps really need to have... A specific purpose, or else you're giving up a lot of DPS from your castle. Because Ballista Traps and Spike Traps are just so much better. I might have even said Spike Trap before, but Springboard Trap is what I meant um, to say. They need to have a specific purpose. Because it'd be much better to have maybe a Ballista Trap somewhere in here that's putting pressure on me while I'm waiting around for these guys to walk around or something. <clears throat> All right. It's even more so um, that fact because they have no damage associated with them anymore. They've gotten pretty much nerfed into the ground, Springboard Traps have. They're still deadly if you step on them and you get thrown into like Stairmasters on the Purple Eyeball ability, but that's pretty much it. Like, I can get thrown by this, and I probably won't die. Let's see what happens. So, I mean, I got shot maybe by one Zeke arrow or something, and he was already charging up. Like, that doesn't really justify having a springboard trap that the person has to literally walk over it. The chances of someone walking over that are pretty low. And then again, you have this Zeke out in the open here. 
which, I mean, an auto attack probably from me would kill it. And a headshot from anybody else should kill it. And obviously a, a knight can Lashing Flames plus Smite and it'll kill it. And a mage should be able to as well. Let's see what this does. It doesn't really launch me into anything. So, I mean, these are the traps that you really want to have your severe amounts of damage on. Um, this is doing absolutely nothing for you because it has no damage associated to it. That was kind of funny. I didn't know that happened. But, um, yeah, it has no damage associated to it and it's not throwing me into any groups. So, this should obviously be a different trap. I mean, a pull onto this and Stairmasters is really the best bet for you. It probably won't work for a very long time. I'm I'm already getting used to these traps being covered by uh, carpets like this, so I'm sure other people are as well. But like, it's probably a newer thing. At least I haven't seen it a ton. I'm starting to see it more and more now. But I mean, a Stairmaster or not a Stairmaster, a Hungerbot here, throwing you into a bunch of Stairmasters on the other end of it is really the best way of making use of it because it'll kill someone. If it happens to work maybe 20% of the time or something. Or less, who knows. You know, pulls are very hard to make use of um, with camera rotation, so. Anyway, um, that is number three, so we'll end the video here. If you guys enjoy what I do, please subscribe. Uh, if you want to be a part of your request, you can email me at frenzycastleruns at hotmail.com um, and I will get to your castle whenever I have time. So. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.